Creepy Morgue Trip I have been a critical care registered nurse for 22 years, and unfortunately one of the responsibilities of that profession involves transporting the deceased to the morgue with a security officer escort. This is a trip I have now made several times. Generally, I don't find the experience to be creepy in any way. As far as I am concerned, I am merely transferring human remains from point A to point B. I usually feel some sadness, but this is something I am used to. But scared? Nope. Until one particular shift, one particular patient. This individual arrived in my unit in full cardiopulmonary arrest. He had already coded several times in the cath lab and things weren't looking too optimistic for him. He had arrived as an inmate from the county jail, where he had cardiac arrested in his jail cell. Despite all possible interventions, we were unable to resuscitate him. Even though he technically had not been my assigned patient, I transported him to the morgue accompanied by a security officer, per protocol. The guard and I didn't really talk during the transport and as it was a very large hospital, the trip took about 10 minutes. It was a long 10 minutes. As we pushed the cart down the hall that immediately lead to the morgue, I was suddenly overcome by this strange sense of dread and being watched. For some reason, I felt like the devil himself was walking right beside me. Every hair on my neck was standing on end. Feeling like a paranoid freak, I said nothing to the officer. But I felt scared. After we deposited the body in the morgue, we were walking back down the hallway we came from. The sense of dread had evaporated. He offhandedly said to me, were you completely freaked out or is it just me? I feel paranoid but I felt like something was watching me and it was evil. I nodded in agreement. And that was all we said about it. We found out later this patient had been charged with 200 plus known horrific crimes involving children and was awaiting sentencing.